One other immune thing I'll, I'll share as a testimony, but it's a Stanford one because of doing ministry there and being part of Christian ministry at the school. One of our students was very sick. It's an immune testimony because it's totally relevant to what we're talking about today. This was a freshman student. He was in terrible shape. He had infectious mononucleosis. He was an asthmatic. He had allergies. I mean, everything we're talking about, this guy had. He didn't have cancer, but he had all these other these other things going on. And he was completely depleted, exhausted. He was having a lot of emotional issues. Came up for prayer, telling me he was going to drop out of school. We were just going into one of our breaks. And he said, I'm going to have to drop out of school. He said, I'm really sick. I have no energy. He said, I'm having depression and panic. He said, I'm I'm a wreck. He said, I'm going to have to go home. I'm just a freshman, but I'm going to have to leave the school. I can't be here anymore. He's practically crying. He's in tears and he's shaking. He was, a, he was, a, he was shaking and tremulous. And I prayed my heart into him. He said, I, he said, I can't even do my exams. He said, I have no energy. I'm finished. And so I prayed deeply into him. He said his reads were off the chart for the infectious model. He said he had ter- the doctors had told him that the health center. He had terrible reads. And I prayed for him, and he had been told that he'd be sick for many, many weeks. And he said, after your prayer, all of a sudden, my energy came back. He said, I started to feel good again. And I went back to the health center. And so they said, wow, you, you shouldn't be feeling this good so quickly. They said, your reads were horrible. You were really sick. You know, we look at all the notes on you, the medical notes, and you were really sick person. And plus, you had all these other issues going on. So they rechecked him. They had a tube of blood that had, they had frozen. And it was sitting at Stanford, frozen. And they even looked at that, and they were just in total shock. They said, everything's clear. They said, even the frozen sample that should be off the charts is clear. They didn't understand it. I love the testimony, because he came back the next quarter. I didn't recognize him. He looked fabulous, and then he came up and he reminded me who he was. He, I literally didn't even... He looked fabulous. He said he had spent the holidays climb, mountain climbing back in Oregon because he was feeling so good. We all loved it because not only did God cure him, but God cured his sample of blood that's sitting in a freezer <laughs> outside of his body. When he does a job, he really does a job. So I thought that was really cool, and that went around all the dorms. All the Christian kids were all praying and excited. And the head of the ministry was, you know, really excited. So everybody got really pumped up about this.